guys, it's Kenny with Ugly Tent. I'm out today to do uh, an overnighter and try out some gear. This is the Hill People, uh, one of the Hill People gear that I got from Five Call Survival to try out to test. And then we're going to set up a tarp and a bug net. I'm going to do the bug net the proper way it's supposed to be done. I've had a lot of people comment on uh, I set up my bug net wrong. I didn't set up the bug net wrong. I, I didn't set it up the way it was supposed to be set up but I used it to its full potential. I mean, it kept the bugs off of me. But I'll show you the proper way to set it up just to show that I know how to do that. So people won't think I don't know what I'm doing with the bug net. Anyway, and the way the bug net sets up, it's in a rectangle, a nice little box. I'm gonna uh, use the tarp to make a square arch shelter. So that's the configuration for tonight, the square arch. We're gonna mess around with that. And we've got our firebox stove. We're going to try it out, work with it. I've had it out a couple times, but I've never had it out camping yet, uh, wild camping, so that'll be a first for that one. So it's going to be a good overnighter. I'm going to put a pine thicket, a uh, little bit of daylight left. Uh, it's, it's uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good night, and it's not supposed to rain, so let's take advantage of that. But let's get started. This is really nice. I'm gonna to have to look into getting one of these because uh, you can carry a lot of gear. And with what I do, trying out gear and all the camera equipment I carry and all the stuff I don't need to carry but helps out with shooting the YouTube videos, um, I need this extra space. And I like the low profile, the low profile backpacks. They don't have, they don't, like the, your normal, I'm talking fast today I know, but I've got a lot to get in before it gets dark. Your normal backpacks ride high. And I don't like that. I like the low profile backpacks. Even if they come down, like my Red Wing 50, comes down a little lower on my back and on my butt than um, a lot of your backpacks for backpacking that ride higher but have a higher profile. Does that make sense? Anyway, so I've really learned for myself, I like these low profile backpacks better. This is my uh, Kydex sheath from Bear Arms. Good looking stuff. Custom made. That's right. And another, another item from Five Coal Survival Supply is some bank line. We got some bank line to try out. Some heavy duty stuff. We're gonna run our tarp uh, here to here. So let's clean out our, ooh, there's some roots. This is gonna be really nice. It's nice, soft, I guess you call it loamy ground. It's got all that moss and pine needles. Oh, it's nice and soft. Put down my climate mat. I'll sleep like a baby. So here's the bug net and what, how it's set up. It's got six rings in it. And you run the, the cord, your cordage through the rings and make the rectangle. So here's one end, here's the middle, here's the other end. So I'm gonna start here Okay, so there's your first run. And here's your second, here's your second set of rings. Okay, so let's hope you can see that. See how it works. So you just extend these out, and there you go. There's your bug net. You put all your stuff underneath, and I'm gonna put two sticks to spread this out, 
and it'll make it a perfect little box or a rectangle. Put the string in there, cordage in there, spread it apart, and extend it to the to the limits there. So about right here. There you go. And again, same thing for the other side. So we've already got the, we've already got the box set up. So now what you do is just put the tarp over the box. Okay, there you go. There is the square arch. Lots of room. So here's the door. Here's the door to get in. And there's my tarp. And as you can see, I've got Tons of room. And I can actually tie these in if I want to to give some uh, closure. But again, let me let me reiterate, let me stress that the fact that I've checked the weather, <clears throat> it's not gonna rain tonight. This will keep the morning dew off of me. And in case we have a, a uh, pop-up shower or something, it'll keep me dry. But if I knew it was gonna be raining like it was on my last trip, I would use the Adirondack. The Adirondack has the back side, protects you from the rain, and then has the front porch to allow you to get away, to get up underneath, away from the rain, so you can cook or, or do whatever you need to do. But we're gonna try this. I like trying these new configurations. I like seeing what all I can do with a tarp. So I don't know how many configurations I've done with this specific tarp, but it, it's been, I've done a lot over the years with different tarps and ponchos. Um, if you wanna adjust this, raise one part higher, you just, work the string up or the cord up, cordage up but as you can see I've got tons and tons of room got a nice breeze going it's still kind of warm so um, I'll slip good in, in there got a little bit of a slope but I wanted to be up here on the soft ground in the pine thicket and spend the night that was my goal so we're set up let's get the firebox stove out and start uh, getting the fire going to get these mosquitoes away and uh, prepare our steak I'm hoping it picks this beautiful sunset up. Yeah. Check that out. That is nice. Red sky at night. Shepherd's delight. Or sailor's delight, which means it should be a good night. I got a dead standing right there. I got a shove over. Truth is, yeah, 
Yeah, I should have done that before I set up camp, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and knock her over. I'm gonna film this in case. I'm gonna film this in case it goes wrong. Let's go here. All I have with me is this off an L knife or off an L saw. Oh, yeah, this would be easy. And there's our firewood for the night. It's pine. Mm. You can just tell it's pine. I love that smell. That should burn good. Alright, that'll get us started. So, carrying my survival uh, kit in my pocket now. A lot of subscribers have said uh, that I should do so, and I agree. It's no good having a survival kit if it's in your bag when you lose your bag. So I keep that in my pocket now. But, let's go here. The uh, Hill People bag again. Hill People gear. That's just awesome. Anyway, uh, Five Coal has sent me some stuff to try out. Aha. And that's one of them. This is Sparklight. This is easy one hand waterproof fire starter. So, we're going to try it out. It's got a neat little military style container. And here's what, let me get you a better, a better look at it. Here's what it is. And inside, it's got a little spark got the tender then it's got your little and it's a spark little striker pretty cool but we're going to use the tender and let's see I'm gonna move this around so I can feed it
Oh yeah, you can feel it. Cool. Now one of the many great things about this firebox stove is it contains it and you don't need the raft underneath because it's got the the grate that allows it to uh, it props the uh, let's go this way. props the firewood up for you. There you go, that was easy. Got some coals. I found some really, really nice hardwood, some standing dead hardwood that I used. Oh, yeah, that is a wonderful sound. Mmm, that smells good. Holy cow, that smells good. All right, it's time to eat the steak. We'll see how it turned out. Oh, it's perfect. Mmm, boy. Looks good. I'm not going to bore you with eating a steak. I just wanted you to see. Mmm, man, that's good. I just want to see how well this firebox stove does. Uh, so, I'm cheating tonight. I brought my hammock and uh, I'm going to relax in the hammock, watch the fire. And I'll sleep on the ground. I can't sleep in a hammock. I never could. It's just doesn't. I'm a ground dweller. But I'm not good at sleeping in a hammock. So I wanted to show you. Man, it's bright. How roomy this thing is. You've got tons of room with this square arch. I mean, I'm setting up. So, it's really, really spacious. This would be good for two people. Got a lot of creepy crawlies tonight, though. That gone. 
They're wearing me out. But anyway, this would be great for <clears throat> two people. You can see how much room I've got. So I should have, I got my gear. I mean, I should sleep well on this. So I'm going to call it a, call it a night. I'm going to say good night and see you guys in the morning. And thanks again for coming along. Another beautiful morning in the wilderness. We got the sun coming up. It is just beautiful. I wanted to show you the heavy cover spigot and it is hung up with the bank line it goes up around the tree here as a pulley and then down to the stake and all you do is use your foot and you can do hands free you push on the cord and you can do hands free like if you want to wash your hands put your foot on it let me just get you back there we go just put your foot on it and you got running water Found some fat wood yesterday. I'm going to use to start the fire. Mmm, and you can smell that pine resin. I don't know if it'll take, I don't know if it'll take a spark or not, we're going to try it. If not, we'll just use the lighter. I'm going to get my coffee on. I'm take one like that. That may be controlled. Look at there. Ha, that's beautiful. Yeah. Man, it throws off the heat.
while I'm drinking my coffee, I wanted to give a quick shout out to a couple of my favorite subscribers and my favorite YouTube channels, ZZ Outdoors and Spirit Forest. Both of those channels are very encouraging to me. So if you haven't checked them out, do so and subscribe to them and support their channels as well. I want to show you the many uses for moss. That is to keep the <clears throat> ridge pole. So that's to keep the ridge pole from poking through. I really enjoyed the square arch configuration. Lots of room. Uh, it felt a lot like my tent. I got to, um, I was able to set up in it. Plenty of room for my gear and myself. So I like this one. I can't wait to try another configuration. So if you have a specific configuration you'd like for me to try, leave it in the comments below and I'll try to get to it uh, hopefully this fall. I really like trying the different configurations. It's a lot of fun. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.